So um, I am going to be um, doing this quick video just to show you the difference between collaborations and Canvas, which allows you to view a Google Doc and actual Google Docs and Google Drive as a whole program, which you can access through your U.S. at the time. So um, first I'm going to show you what collaborations is. It's useful. You're going to do it this week, but it's just not that useful. So you're going to do it this week, but then that's pretty much the last time you're going to use it as far as I'm concerned. So um, from your module page, which you should be on, um, either here or wherever in Canvas, you go to collaborations down here on the left. And each of you should have a member info page created for you by moi. Um, anybody can create one of these and you can invite individual people in the class or an entire group to view it. So you can make these. I just don't think they're that useful. So I'm going to go to the member info page group one and it should open, yeah, a new tab if you're in Google Chrome it does. And this is what I've written here for you guys to do. Each of you should be filling this out in your group. Um, so, you know, you can just come and like, type in this with the word, word. And it'll save it automatically. You don't have to hit save or anything. Um, you can use the comments function right here if you want to send a, keep a comment. So, like, say you have a group member and they have an ideas for our group. And you want to comment on their idea. You can say, you know, oh, I like this idea. Can you share the link to the page you found? Okay, something like that. You hit comment. Make sure you hit comment or else you save it. And then you can always um, either resolve it or edit it or delete it after that. And then when other people log in, they're going to see your comment. Um, and then I think you get an email if they reply. Okay, so that's a really nice function. Um, that's they allow you to do that. Um, trying to think if they allow you to really do anything else. That's kind of it. It's pretty limited. I don't think you can. Oh, you can open Google Drive this way. Oh, okay, well that's one way to open Google Drive is by hitting the symbol. But here's the thing. I don't think you can in collaborations when you start a new collaboration. You choose Google Docs. I don't think that you can do anything other than a basic Word doc. You can't do all the other great things like PowerPoint and Excel spreadsheets and stuff like that. So I want you to do this. This way I can kind of go in and see what you guys, how you started to communicate, which helps me. Um, but really, I think what would be better, rather than doing it this way in the future for you to create documents, I think it would be better for you to just go to your own Google Drive. So yeah, that works. So you can get to that either by clicking this in, in Canvas, or um, if you're like, say you're logged into your USF email, you would just go to a new tab and you click Drive, and it'll pop up .google.com. Okay, just like Maps or email or whatever, drive.google.com, and it'll automatically open your personal account if you're already logged into your USF, right, you know, which you can see right here, okay? So, um, from this page, the Google Drive main page, all right, let me just show you the basics here. Um, my drive is going to show you whatever files you have. You might not have any right now, okay, so... Um, to create a file or folder, you go to create, okay? So if you want to create a folder for ENC 2210, okay, um, there it is, okay, it's good. And then let's say you want to open that and you want to create a document, all right? It's the same sort of thing as collaborations. You know, you enter your title. But just for the sake of, um, well, okay, so let's do, you know, tech research project backgrounder draft or outline. Outline. Okay? So 
this is for you guys to help plan your background your report looks good. Um, you've got all your basic stuff. It's a little bit different than Word, but really it's the same thing. You'll get used to navigating all these different interfaces. You can use styles just like you can in Word. So, you know, text, research, project, background, um, it's going to go back to normal text automatically when you hit enter, which is nice. Alright, maybe I'll even do, make this um, subtitle. Alright, back and Alright, normal text. So then, you know, you start to be like, okay, well, what do we want to have for our intro? What do we have for our blah, blah? Alright, now, say you want to say, share this, okay? How do you share this with your group mates if you're not doing it in collaboration? You go to share. And I'm going to share this with my other Google account and show you what it looks like when two people log into a document, okay? So you need the, their email address. And um, this is why I wanted you in the collaborations page to share your contact info, okay? Um, so make sure you have your group member's email, which it should just be their canvas, you know, and netid plus the USF.mail, mail.usf.edu, but, you know, figure it out. All right, um, and honestly, if you type in people's names to your class, they should automatically pop up as examples. I was like, Moxley. Oh, yeah, there's Moxley. Okay. So you should just need to, their names, actually, and you'll be able to invite them. Okay, so I'm going to invite myself my other account right here. Okay. Um... Can edit. You can just let them comment or view, but in this case, you're going to want them to edit. Notify them with email. I'm going to add this message. Hey, uh, I created this Google Doc for us to brainstorm a backgrounder, outline, structure, um, comment and share by this. Friday, as discussed in last meeting and recorded. And, okay? See how that like, creates a written record of what they're supposed to do? This is like a memo. Very much memo style writing. Okay? Uh, you can send a copy to yourself. And that's pretty much all. You can paste the document into the, like as an attachment, into the email if you want to as well. But it doesn't matter. You're going to see what this gives you. Okay? So, share and save. All right. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. All right. So now it's telling me I'm the owner, and I've shared it with this other person, and I can always change this stuff later. Okay. Done. All right. So now I'm glad to die. I'm working on this outline. Let's go see what it looks like from the person who you just invited perspective. Okay. So I'm in Firefox. So I can have two, you know, email addresses open in Google. Okay, so I see, hey, look, somebody sent me an email from my group. Take research project director. Okay, let's see what this is. So this is what it says. I've shared an item with you. There's the message I wrote, okay? And that's the paste. That's what it looks like when you paste it in. If you don't paste it in, oh, wow, that actually shows an image of it, too. If you don't paste it in, I'm pretty sure it just has, like, a link to the document. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Check this out. See over here, as I'm as I open this, in my, in the view of the creator, right, my creator account that made this. Now it's telling me that somebody else is viewing the document. Woot! Awesome. Okay. So now there's this new button here that wasn't here before, right? Like if I was on the member page for the um, collaborations, you don't see that button. There's no little chat button. But if you're in your um, Google Drive account and you open this document that I shared and somebody's looking at it, voila, there's suddenly a chat button because somebody's logged in, okay? So if you click that, you guys can now chat. Now see this pink thing? That is showing what my other account is doing. So I'm going to show you this side by side. There's my other account. My other account, okay, is showing my the creator as orange. This is the USF, my USF ID. Okay, it shows me as orange, it shows what I'm doing. So when I'm over here going intro, 
um, the stride, the Fitbit, um, image, maybe say data this, see how it's showing who's typing and what they're doing. Alright, and the same thing goes for me. If I want to come down here and go, okay, well, I want to put in the body, um, pros and cons over here, it's showing me doing that. We can be working at the same time, so you say, um, something like, okay, you work on the body while I type up the actual intro paragraph. Okay? Think shows up over here for me, and we can chat while we work. All right, that's how Google Docs works. I hope that you are able to follow this two accounts that I have open. Um, I already showed you how to comment. You can still do that. You know, that of this comment, you could say, you know, minimize this so you can comment. You know, um, I think this is a good idea. Do you have a stock photo? Um, copyright free. Comments. Alright. So then they, they can see that too. Um, also, you can comment by just highlighting, right clicking, and hitting comment. Okay? So there you go. Um, I just want to show you that you don't just do documents. So what else can you create? So remember, we're inside the ENC2210 folder on this account. And say I want to create something else, maybe a presentation, okay? Here's the other things you can make. Let's say we want to start working on our presentation for this project. Now, um, I'll just tell you, like, I think it's kind of difficult to work in Google presentations, but it's still really good for collaborating. But once you save it, you can save it as a PowerPoint format and open it in PowerPoint and then dress it up nicer, okay? So they have some stuff, okay, but I don't know. I just think that I would mainly use this to draft the text of your of your presentation and then open it. So let me show you. So let's do, you know, uh, I'm just going to do it like fit fit or fit life. Um, you know, to, to let's see if I can do group one, group one, um, and then like, you know, TGH, outpatient, um, TG clinic. So that's who you're work, that's who you're working for, right? So you're pretending to present to this group. This tells me, you know, which group this is, and then this is the, the title. Okay, I'm just going to do that for now so that I can show you. It doesn't have a title right now, but for just to title it up here. But, um, so say, once I've created that, I'm going to close it, okay? Now it shows up here, Untitled Presentation. You <laughs> didn't title it. I can click this and then go to More, Open Preview, Open With. Um... I'm looking for download. Okay, this applies to all your documents. So once you guys finish collaborating and you want to actually hand your assignments in, somebody should be in charge of this part, okay? Somebody needs to be in charge of downloading the Google Doc. See, I'm going to open it in PowerPoint. Download. There it is. And for Google Chrome, it comes down here. I'm going to open it. And then once in PowerPoint, I may need to make some changes. This goes for the um, Word documents as well, okay? You, once you finish your background, you're writing it together in Google Docs, you're going to need to actually download it, open it in Word, and edit it to be clean it up, basically. You just need to clean it up, make sure everything looks good. Um, so somebody needs to be in charge of the design and cleanup of the document before you upload it as a final submission. After, let's say you've done that. Let's say you, you know, group member number two downloaded, you know, the, I'm trying to find like an example of also. We'll just do this one, okay? Okay, so. Oops. Go back. I want to download this. I want to do it as a Word doc. 
All right, here it is. So let's say I did this. I edited it. I made it the way I wanted. Um, so it looks, you know, looks a lot like it does in the Google Docs. Delete your comments. We don't need that. Okay, so let's say we cleaned it up and we saved it on our on my computer. All right. So that now I'm the only one that has the fancy one, right? You need to share it with the group so that they can look at it before you submit it for your final project. Okay, so what am I doing? I should have done. Okay, let's just do. Uh, let's keep it. <laughs> okay. Um. So now let's say you cleaned it up and you want to upload it as a Word document, not as a Google Doc, but as a Word doc for your group to view now that it's all fancy, okay? So you hit upload. Now upload, you you can upload anything. You don't have to, it doesn't have to be in Google Doc format to upload it to Google Drive, okay? Google Drive literally can hold anything. It can hold JPEGs, GIFs videos, whatever you want, MP3s, um, you know, Word and Excel documents, but um, those are, they'll show up right next to your Google Docs, which are a different format, but it's all, you know, you can save anything. It's not like it can only show a certain file type, okay? So, it was under Downloads. Uh, sorry. All right, there it is. All right, so open. It gives you this little window showing that you're uploading it, and voila. So now, here's the difference. When you click this, it opens it like this, so you can edit it. When you click a Word document, it has a very different view, okay? Because you can't edit the Word document in Google Drive. You can just view it. You can, but it's going to translate it back into a Google Doc which might screw up your formatting, to be completely honest. Oh no, it's still a Word doc. You just can't edit it. Okay, so you can open it and you can comment on it, like a PDF. Like, okay, now, you know, you can highlight things and you can comment on things, but you can't edit the text. So, if you have a really fancy Word document or PowerPoint, and this is the final version, you can show it to your group, they can comment on it, and they can say, hey, don't forget to fix this before you you know, we upload it, all right? And then they can download it to their computer. So let's say you're in charge of creating the final background or report, but somebody else is in charge of actually uploading the project on the due date. So then they have this, they can download it, and they can upload it back to Canvas. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. All right, this video is longer than I thought it would be, and maybe I should just give you to that. Um, so, okay, if you have questions, guys, don't forget, there's this thing called Google. <laughs> so, like, I couldn't remember how to chat, so I just typed in, like, how to chat in Google Drive. Um, you know, so if you don't know how to do something like, you know, how to upload a Word doc to Google Drive, all right, you'll find answers. So, don't forget to use your own resources to figure stuff out. Um, but, yeah. Feel free to ask me questions that are more logistical, like about your group or how you're supposed to require to do things, or go to the discussion board and post your questions there, okay? Actually, this is one section. So, alright, I'm going to end this video. Have a great day.